I'm in New York City, the home of Broadway and most of the top modeling agencies. It's the place where the beautiful people are, right? The pretty people, as they're called. People like Sandra Bullock or uh, Anne Hathaway, who my wife was watching a, a movie with her, so she came to mind when I was thinking of this, and then I asked her to tell me about the pretty people in New York. Who would she say? And she said Jimmy Fallon, who we happened to meet uh, when we were here in New York on an anniversary trip. So those are some examples of pretty people, uh, but we don't really know these people. We only know what they look like. Uh, we may learn a little bit about them if they happen to appear on the Jimmy Fallon show. We get to hear them talk and kind of talk about their life and give us their opinions and things like that. But we really know very little about them other than how they look but yet we judge them based on how they look. Uh, we either like what we see or we don't, and that's human nature, and it's okay. Uh, some of us might think Jimmy Fallon is, is pretty, and some people might not, and that's perfectly natural and okay. So it's because God, we, we judge people in this way visually because God gave us eyes to enjoy the world. And uh, he also gave us different attributes and he gave us different preferences. So each of us have different opinions and different ideas about what we like or what we, what we enjoy. So our judgments are mainly just opinions. Most of them, I would say probably 99% of them are just internal. And we may talk about them or joke about them as friend, or with friends or things like that, but uh, generally it's our, own, it's our own perception. It's partly how we remember things, it's, it's partly how we enjoy things and that sort of thing. My wife is brunette which is an indication of what my preferences are, but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with, say, blondes or redheads. We categorize people based on how they look, and we do it to everyone, and we do the same with attitude. For example, yesterday we were flying on uh, Alaska Airlines, and we had, oddly, which is so unusual, we had two circumstances that were not great. Alaska Air may sound rather Alaska-ish, but they're actually based in Washington State, and we, we love them. Uh, great service, great airplanes, great pilots and staff generally. But yesterday, oddly, we ran into two situations where uh, people had poor attitudes with us, uh, Alaska Airlines staff, which is not a big deal. We just let it roll off our backs. It's not something to get upset about. Everybody has a bad day. Uh, but let me set the attitude aside for a minute and because I want to return to that because it is very important. Now, think about this thing called this so-called systemic racism that, that we've been hearing a lot about. Uh, CRT, it's supposed to be the solution to our systemic racism, right? Uh, at least that's the, way it's, uh, that's the way it's promoted. But what is CRT? First of all, don't feel bad if you don't know what it is or even what CRT stands for. It is confusing and ambiguous and it is intended to be. The people that created it really want you to be confused. They don't want us to understand it. They just want to shove it down our throats because it is so incredibly vital and important to the future of America or not. So, CRT stands for a thing called critical race theory. Now, when you're critical of something, it means that you're thinking about it, you're considering it, you're looking at it, you're investigating it, uh, it has your attention. But interestingly enough, critical race theory or CRT, in terms of how it's being used in the context of CRT, it makes it sound, it makes the whole concept sound worse than what it is. Oh, it's racism and, and it's critical and and it's this theory thing. Uh, okay, so that's, that's critical. And then we have race. Uh, race has something to do with our heritage, right? Uh, you know, for example, uh, you know, it's, it's um, you know, our nationality maybe, it's our, it's, our, it's our connection as far as our race, our, our tie to our heritage, that sort of thing. People try to make it about skin color, but it really doesn't have anything to do with skin color. You can have people that are uh, from the same race that have wildly different skin colors. Uh, and then there's theory. So we have critical race theory. And theory, it, it means it's not proven. It means it's unknown. It's not a fact. And so we've got something that someone thinks we should think about, maybe talk about, 
and it's about ways that we are different, race, uh, but it's not been proven. Somehow it's so important that we need to shove it down our kids' throats. Uh, remind, know this too, I'm sure you've heard of the 1619 Project. CRT is closely tied to the 1619 Project, which is also a lie. 1619 Project is fully historical revisionism, meaning that it asserts lies about America. It, it, it asserts that America is inherently racist, which is utter lunacy. CRT is also interesting to me because I tend to play things out to see where they end. CRT has no euphoric ending. In fact, it's quite the opposite. In other words, if you agree to comply with CRT thoroughly and completely as the uh, authors of it ask you and want you to, it will never produce anything of value. It will never produce unity. It will only produce division. This, I am here to remind you, is the United States of America. It is not the divided States of America. Yet, we are implementing CRT into our schools and corporate training at places like the Woke Coke Company and Delta Airlines. And now, Project Veritas has just revealed that the toy company Hasbro is actively working to implement CRT sensitivity into the design which is being indoctrinated into our kids to help them understand their ability to see people different and to see themselves as different and to see themselves as inferior. Yeah, crazy. The problem is that it is similar to the 1619 lie. America is not inherently bad, nor are people of any color or race automatically bad as a result of their skin color. Rational people would not blame two Japanese children walking down the street for the attacks on Pearl Harbor. That would be lunacy, but that is exactly what they are asking us to do. Similar, we, similarly, we should not be training our kids to believe that they are responsible for all the world's mistakes, all of America's mistakes, all of their parents' mistakes, none of that all of the mistakes of somebody who happens to have the same skin color or that something is wrong with them because uh, because they are in a world that is imperfect another very easy way to define crt is that it's racism if you look it up in the dictionary it should just say racism CR or crt equals racism it's racist to say that a person of any color or race is inherently bad or broken goods just because of their association with who they are imagine that Baby wakes up, is born, and the first thing they tell him is, because you were born this way, you are inherently bad. It's, it's lunacy and it's totally anti-American. It, it reminds me of, uh, I've traveled in, in the military and uh, personally I've gone over to uh, Asian countries a lot and I know this to be totally true, which is, is very interesting but it's totally racist, what I'm gonna tell you, and it's totally anti-American, anti-American in terms of the way we think, the way we live, the way we act. Even, even in Europe, they don't, they, don't, um, they don't act in this way to the extent that they do in Asia. And this is not against Asian people, this is a cultural thing, it's the way it is. There's, you know, you know, even in India, there's a caste system which is illegal, but it still exists, it's still there. In Asia, the bottom is, the, uh, which country is it? It's uh, the Vietnamese it tend to be seen at the bottom of the Asian uh, hierarchy. And at the top is a battle between Japanese and Chinese and everybody else lands in the middle. And most Asians know this. Anybody who's spent much time in, in any Asian cultures or countries, they kind of have this, this sense. It's, it, it, my point is, is that it's, it's racism, it's wrong. And my point even more so is that no such thing exists in America. Nobody looks at any particular race and, and categorizes them based on their race or their skin color or, or whatever. It just doesn't exist in this culture, but it does exist in other places around the world. I'm not trying to say that we're better than others. I'm just saying we're not as bad as the people who are promoting CRT are trying to make us believe. So speaking of those people, it is a minority of people 
and there's many other people that are pushing back on this, but the people that are currently destroying America, although they are few, they're very intent and they are focused and they, will, they are well planned and uh, they have a strategy and they're executing that strategy every single day. Part of the minority of people that are pushing back are people like Morgan Freeman and Candace Owens and Denzel Washington who all say that we should stop fanning the flames of this so-called systemic racism. Why? Because it's a lie. America is the greatest country on the planet and in the history of the world. Because of American greatness, we no longer have slaves. Indians no longer have slaves. And slavery is much less common throughout the rest of the world because of American strength. People that promote CRT say the opposite. Say, they say that America is bad and that it encourages systemic racism while at the same time refusing to admit that America over time abolished slavery. And in fact, America was the first country in the world to abolish slavery and it led the rest of the world in abolishing slavery. So you see how they are working to re revise the way that we see history. Now let's go back. Uh, let's go back to how we see each other for a moment. You've heard the statement, attitude is everything. Let me tell you, attitude means, means much more than skin color ever will. I mentioned our affinity to beautiful people or the pretty people like Sandra Bullock or Anne Hathaway or Jimmy Fallon evidently, according to my wife. These people are blessed right from birth, right? But with the right makeup and clothing, even Anne Hathaway could look just, you know, average or worse, right? And this, it, it is the same with attitude. We can, be, we can be any color and have a great attitude and people are not going to care. Where I come from, it's all about work. If you work, you're respected. If you do not work, then you're not respected. It has nothing to do with race or color. There are many spurs to this conversation about CRT, so I'll leave you with those to consider. There's one more thing I wanna talk about that's bigger than CRT, however. It's the people that are pushing this garbage. CRT is being pushed by people that are actively working to destroy America. It's important for you to know that. Why would I say that? Think about it. They are pushing a race narrative, yet they ignore so many obvious facts that refute their position. When violence or death comes to a black business owner, a police officer, or anyone else is does not agree with their burn, loot, murder agenda, they completely ignore these people and circumstances as if their lives do not matter. They are wrong and they are guilty. When you think through the results of CRT and it's allowed to play out, these people are guilty again. CRT is dividing now and it will always divide. In the future, it will yield weak and divided people. CRT promotes segregation, which is something that not long ago, America worked hard to overcome. We all know that. The promoters of CRT do not have a better plan for America. They will continue to destroy America and everything it stands for. If you choose to believe the lie and you kindly continue sort of wanting to avoid the confrontation, then you'll soon find yourself with no rights at all. These thugs will destroy it all. They will use force, and they will force you to build a wall around their city to protect them. They will live lavishly while you scourge for a meal. They will look down on you uh, because you bend a knee only to God. They will force and manipulate you to serve their purposes. They were wrong before and they are wrong now. They will always be wrong. We are no longer seeking to restore these people. We are taking control of America back from those that stole it and are actively working to destroy it. They will not be pleased with us no matter what we do. They do not have a better version of America. They only think for themselves. I'm Jared Sessler, and I hope that this helps you to understand CRT more thoroughly. It needs to go. American values do not align with leftists because they hate America. We must engage by giving our dollars and our talents to defend our great American values. Visit jaredsessler.com to donate and get involved. Say yes to America.